Welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be looking at the topic uh, sulfur and its compounds. Today we are going to focus on hydrogen sulfide. So you're going to look at how it's prepared in the laboratory and then we'll do a few questions. So hydrogen sulfide uh, is found in volcanic areas as gas or dissolved in water from geysers and hot springs in active volcanic areas of the world for example here in kenya we know like we get um, hot springs especially in olkaria and hell's gate so you notice when you go to those places they, there's a very foul smell in the air this is because of the production of, of also hydrogen sulfide it's present in rotten eggs as well and in human extract it's usually prepared in the laboratory by heating iron to sulfide with dilute hydrochloric acid. So this is the setup. Um, so dilute hydrochloric acid is lowered to a flat bottom flask um, containing iron to sulfide. And then you notice that the gas is being collected over warm water. That tells you there is a property for hydrogen sulfide in regards to the method of collection um, and then if you want to collect the gas dry so instead of passing it uh, collecting it by over warm water we'll dry it using anhydrous calcium chloride in the youtube and then you can see it's being collected by downward delivery which tells you there is also a property that makes it to be collected in this manner so uh, dilute hydrochloric acid is poured onto iron 2 sulfide in a round bottomed flask or a flat bottomed flask and then the gas is passed through a u-tube in the case where we are collecting it dry with an hydrous uh, calcium chloride to dry the gas uh, this can be done with also phosphorus 5 oxide so iron 2 sulfide reacts with hydrochloric acid to form hydrogen sulfide and iron 2 chloride you can see there is interchange of ions and uh, the ion takes the chloride ions to form ion 2 chloride so this equation is very easy to remember and to understand as you can see there is the interchange of ions but look at the ionic equation uh, the sulfide ions are reacting with the hydrogen ions to form hydrogen sulfur so remember we talked about the collection of the dry gas so the gas is usually collected by downward delivery, which tells us uh, that the gas is denser than air. It's heavier than air, in other words. And you noticed also that it can be collected wet uh, over warm water. This tells us that it is soluble in cold water. So if we were to test like the a test for hydrogen sulfide, so we are going to use a strip of a filter paper. We soak it in lead two ethanoid and you put it in hydrogen sulfide gas or a gas you are suspecting to be hydrogen sulfide. What happens is that the paper is going to turn black or dark brown. So this is because of the formation of iron two sulfide. So once again, you can see. Um, there is like interchange of an ion. So hydrogen sulfide reacts with lead to ethanoid to form to form lead sulfide, and you can see we have formed now the ethanoic acid. And then some physical properties of hydrogen sulfide is that it is a colorless gas, but it is very poisonous. It has similar like um, toxicity with hydrogen cyanide. It has a very repulsive smell, uh, similar to that of rotten eggs or decaying cabbage. We said that it is contained in small quantities in the eggs as well. It is very soluble in water and then it dissolves to give a weak acid, which is slightly ionized. So if you look at hydrogen sulfide in water, it dissolves to form hydrogen sulfide aqueous solution. And then um, this hydrogen sulfide, you can see it dissociates to form hydrogen ions and hydrogen sulfide ions, which can further dissociate to form two hydrogen ions and a sulfide ion. So you can see it dissociating in steps. It's not that strong in terms of dissociation. It's a diabetic acid, so it forms a diabetic acid, 
from form, uh, the acid is diabetic and forms hydrogen sulfide. So it's, it's, it's acidic in nature. So when you react it with bases, for example, if you react it with uh, sodium hydroxide, you form sodium hydrogen sulfide and water. You can see it's not fully being dissociated. Uh, the hydrogen ions are not being fully replaced because it's weak. So it's only replacing partially. So one of the hydrogen ions is um, reacts with the, the hydroxyl ions to form water. So it forms sodium hydrogen sulfide. So potassium hydroxide also reacts in the same manner uh, like sodium hydroxide. So it's going to form um, potassium. So if you were to write the equation, it would be potassium hydroxide plus hydrogen sulfide to form potassium hydrogen sulfide plus water. So the balancing would be the same since they are in the same valencies with sodium hydroxide. So for example, let's do this one question that help will help us to uh, highlight the key things we have learned about hydrogen sulfide. So the setup below was used to prepare a dry sample of hydrogen sulfide gas. So we have dilute hydrochloric acid with solid H. And then we have solid I. It passes through solid I. Uh, then it's, it's, it goes on. So complete the diagram to show how the gas was collected. So the first thing we need to identify is this tube here. So the moment you see this tube, it means it's going to be dried. This is used for drying. So we want to collect it. And it's, we are going to collect it by downward delivery because it's heavier than, than air. So we'll put a tube going downwards and a gas jar. Uh, so we complete the gas jar. So that's how it's supposed to look like. Uh, so it means it's being collected. This method is downward delivery. And we are collecting it in this method because it's heavier than air. Uh, so identify the following solid H. So we know that solid H is going to be iron 2 chloride. Sulfide, I am two sulfide, sorry. It's going to be that. And then solid I is going to be anhydrous uh, calcium chloride. This is the drying agent. Write an equation for the reaction that occurred in the flask between solid H and dilute hydrochloric acid. So iron 2 sulfide reacts with hydrochloric acid to form iron chloride and 2 chloride plus hydrogen sulfide. So this is a gas, this is aqueous. Um, so let's balance this by putting a 2 here. So that is the equation that will occur. So this brings us to the end of preparation of hydrogen sulfide. You see, it's not that hard to prepare, and you can see even the collection properties are not that difficult to remember. Uh, hydrogen sulfide, you notice later on as we progress, it has also very unique properties. So it is important when we get there, you are able to remember that. Do not forget that it is tested by reacting it with the two ethanoid, and it changes to black because there is formation of lead sulfide and also an acid is given off. So that test is also important when it comes to qualitative analysis. So it is important for you to be able to remember that process. So that's it for this session. So in the next lesson, we are going to be looking at now the chemical properties 
of hydrogen sulfide and you take note and you notice that some of those properties are a bit similar with uh, some properties of sulfur four oxide it is important you're able to make those distinctions so that you do not get confused the the, the theoretical bit of elemental chemistry is to be able to differentiate between reactions of one compound and the other one. So make sure you're able to do that. So see you in the next lesson.